What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today I'm checking out some new fans, well, newish. Um, they were sent to me a while ago um, by Iceberg Thermal. Massive thank you to them for sending these out. Um, I've just taken a while for me to get these, uh, get around to uh, reviewing these because I've had lots of others to do and things like that. Um, first of all, let me apologise for my voice. I sound absolutely horrendous um, because I feel horrendous. Um, but I'm getting on with it, getting some videos done, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, so Iceberg Thermal sent out their iScale Lightning ARGB 120mm 3-pack of fans um, for me to test out and review. Um, and basically, they sent these out for me to have a look at, see how well they perform, see what they look like, give my overall uh, view on them of what I think in terms of the quality of them. And then obviously, you can be the judge of how you think they look. And obviously, I'll give you some thermal performance as well. Uh, in terms of thermal performance, um, I've recently been doing some testing on other fans as well. So um, I'll be including uh, two different types of fans with these as well, um, mainly because they're all the same sort of price range. Um, and obviously offer different features. So I'll be comparing them predominantly against the AN120s from Inwin, which are currently around 35 euros. These, as far as I've seen on the internet, are around $40. So here in the UK, that's probably about 30 to 35 pounds. Um, so similar, very, very similar price. And also I've thrown in the Sahara gaming ones that I've done previously uh, because I sent those out a while back as well. And I wanted to uh, test those and I might as well throw those in the mix as well for you to see, so you can see how they perform. Um, so basically I'm testing them against comparable fans in terms of price range to see how they perform and whether they're worth it. Um, the AN120s from Inman are very, very good fans. Um, so if they perform anywhere near as good as those, then uh, you know you're on to a winner and obviously it depends which kind of fan you like the best. Um, now in terms of test specification, uh, it's going to be on a B650 E-E Asus Strix and it's also going to be on a 7900X AMD Ryzen 9 CPU. Uh, on on the uh, AIO side of it, uh, it's going to be the MR36 from Inwin uh, to test the to test how well it performs. So it's a static pressure test, to be honest with you, um, rather than an airflow test. However, but it gives you uh, an idea of how well these perform overall. The rest of the specifications I'll leave in the description below for you to have a look at. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can see what test system I'm using. Uh, so let's get these unboxed. We'll have a look at them. Um, I'll get them installed. I'll show you what they look like once they're installed, ARGB and everything like that. Um, one thing I didn't mention is these are ARGB Gen 2, but we'll talk about that a little more when I unbox these. Uh, so let's have a look. Right, so we've got the Iceberg Thermal iScale uh, Lightning ARGB 120mm 3-pack. Um, 120mm standard size fans are 25mm thick. Uh, so let's basically have a look at these. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, these are ARGB Gen 2. Now, I wondered what that was when I first saw mine. I never actually heard of it, and it was a thing. Um, so it turns out, basically, if you've got a Gen 2 header on your motherboard or controller or whatever you're using, then you can take advantage of the Gen 2 uh, ARGB lighting, which, from what I've seen, uh, what I've heard, sorry, read, because uh, I didn't actually know what it was, it gives you more control over the ARGBs, and apparently you can even go down, depending on what software you've got, you can go down to as far as it controlling individual LEDs and brightness for individual LEDs and colors and things like that as well. And so you've got a lot more customizability. Um, it can also be used on Gen 1 uh, ARGB headers, but obviously you lose that functionality. Um, so just bear that in mind. And uh, they've got, uh, they are Gen 2. So if you're looking for Gen 2 fans, um, there's some here. Uh, five year warranty, 28.9 decibels in terms of noise and um, we'll measure that as well and i'll tell you what that was and compare it to the others as well so specifications like i say 120 mil standard size up to 2200 rpm airflow 76.74 static pressure 2.8 so these are on par with the sahara ones i'm testing the inwin ones i believe are rated about 2.3 and um, so they're a little bit higher than that we'll obviously we'll see how that uh, turns out in terms of performance fluid dynamic bearing so 28.9 dba cable length is 500 mil you need to know that connector is four pin pwm and it'll be three pin argb header and that's all you really need to know Seventy thousand hours mean time to failure uh, so let's have a look so you get a little card in there i assume thank you for choosing icebook thermal i assume that's going to give you oh that's all their links to stuff um so you can contact them if you need to uh bag of screws silver screws for some reason would have been nice to include black as they are black fans um they stand out a little bit depending on obviously where they're installed personally i prefer to see uh black fat uh screws 
So let's just take one of the fans out. There's no point in showing you all three of them. They're all the same. Um, so this is the fan here. Um, as you can see, it is designed in terms of how you imagine a static pressure fan, um, the way the blade design is uh, and the pitch and things like that. Um, so it is designed that sort of way. It's a one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven blade fan. Um, and it is ARGB hublet, so ARGB, uh, the RGB lights are inside here and there's shine out through the translucent blades and no edge lighting or anything like that. In terms of quality, they do feel very plasticky. I mean, they all, they're all made out of plastic. Uh, well, some of them aren't, but um, that's beside the point. Um, they do feel quite plasticky. They don't feel... Apologies, Iceberg Film, they don't feel the best quality, um, but they don't feel they don't feel like... They're not flexing anyway, they're solid. Um, they're solidly built. They're just, the plastic, I don't know, it doesn't, just feels a little bit low quality to me, uh, but I'm sure they're not. Um, uh, other than that, vibration feet in each corner as standard. Um, like I say, the blade fans, uh, standard sort of cage with a sort of pitch on it to angle the airflow through. And uh, that's really all you need to, need to know about these. There's not really much more to say about them. Um, they're up to 2200 RPM, like I said before. Um, and then, like I said, you've got standard PWM and ARGB header connections with pass through for RGB, but not for PWM, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so you don't get pass through for PWM. I don't know why they do that. Some companies do it, some companies don't. Um, personally, prefer to see a pass through for a PWM. Um, but that's it, let's get them installed, have a look at them, and uh, we'll see what they look like, and uh, then I'll test them. Right, so now we've done the testing of the iScale Lightning ARGB 120mm 3-pack fans, which are ARGB Gen 2, and um, we've got the results in, and you've seen what they look like in the little bit of B-roll I've shown you. Um, you probably would have noticed uh, that basically all three fans are doing something different at the same time, although they're all on rainbow, they're literally passing it between them, which is what the difference with ARGB Gen 2 is. Um, you can basically, even though on the same line, you can control individually what's happening to them as you can see from these the rainbow sort of following along the fans rather than doing it all at the same time like every, literally the same pattern exactly at the same time on all three fans at the same time so ARGB Gen 2 is absolutely cool um, so if you're after ARGB Gen 2 then these are uh, a good option for you to have and well priced I believe I've already mentioned the price of these around $40 uh, $35 something like that um, so not a bad price at all and very comparable to the ones that I've been testing it to so let's talk about the performance of them and are they worth buying um, so as I said before I'm testing them against the AN120s um, but I've also previously done a test on Sahara's fans that they sent me uh, so I'll include that as well um, on the grass but I'll just talk about the between the AN120s and these and but you'll see the Sahara's on the graph as well um, as a bit of reference. So again, as I do with all these tests, maximum speed, Cinebench, multi-core, because I want to see like basically the best scenario performance, how well they can do, um, and it gives you a good overall idea of how they perform in terms of comparison between them. Uh, so AM120s are at 78, and these are at 79 in terms of maximum temperature, so a little bit more, I do, I would say a little, a little bit, a little bit warmer, however, uh, the ambient temperature had gone up from 19 to 20 degrees in here uh, by the time I'd done the testing on these. So literally exactly the same if you can't take that into account. Uh, the average for some reason was 74 on the 120 on the uh, inwinds and 73 on this. So the average was actually better. So over the course of the test, it actually, although it hit a higher spike of maximum, which is obviously because of the ambient, um, the actual average was lower. So the they do a good job in terms of average, but again, it could be within a margin of errors, not a lot, one degrees. Um, I personally say they're pretty much exactly the same. Uh, and that's really it. Uh, other than that, noise levels, these were recorded at 54 decibels, again, with all different, uh, a few different, extra, three extra fans in there, as was tested with the AM120s as well, so it's all comparable. Uh, so 54 to 53, so these are a little bit louder, um, but not massively, and... Uh, yeah, not a problem at all. So they definitely perform really, really well. 
So if you can get these in your country, um, they're not available very, very many places, which is a which is a real shame because Iceberg Firm will do some amazing stuff, to be honest with you. Um, and I've been quite lucky to get hold of these because these are very hard to get hold of in the UK to actually buy. Um, but I think they're more widely available in the US. Um, so if you're watching from the US, you should be able to get hold of these, some of these, hopefully. Um, so if you manage to get them, then I can definitely recommend them. They perform really, really well. And this is obviously on a radiator. They're going to be different for airflow, uh, but it gives you a sort of idea of how well they perform anyway. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope this was insightful. And if you were looking at some ALGB2 fan, Gen 2 fans, you didn't know uh, who did them, uh, Ice, Iceberg Thermal do. Um, so you can get some of them and not break the bank with those as well. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like or dislike, depending on how you feel. Leave me a comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching and goodbye